going on guys? Zach from Budget Beamers here. Today I'm feeling a little bit ambitious. I've been wanting to do this to my car for a long time. I want to delete this cowl. A lot of people have done it. They get the BMS cowl filters. But I don't like the idea of having all this sitting out in the open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mod this cowl right here so that it can stay in place. But I'm going to cut along right there so that it leaves it open but it's still covering all this stuff. So pretty much I'm gonna take the cowl off, uh, mark out where I want to cut it, and then we'll cut it and see what happens. If you guys haven't noticed, we got a new camera. It's pretty sick. All right, I'm gonna take the cowl off. It's already unbolted so it should take half a second. Just like that, easy as pie. So this is gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna cut it here along this line, along this back line, down to here, and then right down over here. It should come out pretty good, but we'll see. For this I got a multi-tool. The blade is pretty dull, so hopefully it works. See what happens. All right, so I'm gonna start cutting it right now. All right, so this is what we're working with so far. Looks pretty decent. I'm just gonna flake off these little burrs from the cutter. Maybe I'll get a file, file them off. Some will just break off just like that. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna refine this edge a little bit and test it on the car, see what it looks like. All right, so I cleaned up the cut edges as much as I could with a, a razor and a file. Now what I'm gonna do to make it look extra clean is I'm gonna use this gasket right here and pretty much just cut its size, put it on right there, and then one over here. So, should look mint. Alright, there's one side, it actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. Let's do the other side, then I'll uh, test fit it, see what it looks like. Alright, so here's what it looks like on the car. Came out pretty good. I like how you can see the catch can now. Don't mind the uh, huge wiring mess right here. I'm trying to figure out a problem where my ignition fuse keeps blowing. If anybody has any ideas as to why that's happening, throw it down in the comments, because uh, I can't figure it out. Seems like maybe there's like a 12 volt power source that's like exposed somewhere. Maybe uh, I'm thinking this wire. I want to route it, see where it goes, because it does go next to the turbo, so maybe it's got hot and melted or something. But it's kind of an intermittent problem. It doesn't happen every time I start the car. It's like sometimes so I've checked pretty much all these wires and they seem to be good but next thing we're gonna do is uh I'm just gonna take these wires out so I can uh, tuck them behind there I'll put the engine cover on so it looks a little better and uh, put those covers on take the wires out and uh, take my catch can off see how much oil is in there because I haven't really emptied it in a while Not too bad. A little bit of oil. Dump it in my trusty solo cup. Well, 
it's doing its job, which is good. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna tuck these wires behind the catch can so that they're kind of hidden a little bit. Screw this back on. This will kind of hold them back there. Okay, that's pretty tight. Wires are somewhat tucked. Wow, actually looks pretty friggin' decent. What do you think guys? How good does that look? Well, let me throw this on. Gotta have my sensor. All right. Looks really good. I'm happy with how that came out. Obviously now I have to buy coil filters, which I don't, I don't even have because I'm dumb. I'm dumb and I didn't buy them beforehand. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing this since I've been waiting so long to do this. Now I can hear the turbo a little bit better, you know? A little wastegate action. No, not wastegate. A little blow off action, maybe. And you know what else? This was a nice budget thing that we could have done here. It didn't cost me a penny. Except for the tool, but I had the tool. Now you can see the whole engine that I have to clean because it looks like ass. But yeah, hope you guys liked in this video. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Let me know if you know what I'm, what's going on with my fuse, fuse 39, ignition, injectors, and some other thing. Now uh, enjoy some glamour shots of this awesome looking engine bay. When I die, make sure you spread my blood on a BMW. And when I die, make sure you spread my blood on a BMW.